don't like, Vada Fly gonna recap this and say Gotti caught a 30 on the John Road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy, y'all the game. Time has Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vada Fly. We used to rock it like that. Earth's hitting when it can stop your earth spinning. Quest said, you gotta be perfect in this ring tonight, nigga. Mm -hmm. I said, well, start calling me Kurt Hennig. Mm -hmm. Come on, boy. What happened? Your jokes don't get no reaction because you write just like them weak-ass hats. You don't be snapping, so try to stop. <laughs> You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, ricegangclothing.com. For the merchandise, you heard me right. Salute to all of the subscribers. If you respect the handle, subscribe to the channel. You know what I'm saying? Cock and spray. You're watching it anyway. King of the Dot Grand Prix, $50,000 on the line tournament. Be honest with you, I didn't see a couple of the battles that happened today. When you got kids, you got family and all of that going on, man. Two days in a row for battle rap. I'm checking my pockets. I just ain't got it. I mean, I, I, I catch it on the flip side on the rewatch. Um, I caught Mac Myron versus Clone. Mac Myron lost his mind. Um, I actually think I, I, I did. I snuck. I did get a couple of bars from that. So let me um, let me see what I got. You know, I want I want to do that. Let me see what I got. I got. Uh, and this is not in no round round specific. McMyra had a line that said, Mystique turn into Colossus, you gonna get the steal. I thought that was fire. Uh, shoot it, Gemini man, yes I will clone. I thought that was fire. Uh, I put a hole in you wide as Michael Jordan pants. Michael Jordan pants, yo. His pants is disrespectful. Like, I, I seen Michael Jordan in Compound in Atlanta one time. Like, it was crazy. Like, I was in the club and Michael Jordan was there. And he was there with, like, his crew and assistants and all of that. And I only thing I could notice is his the, the the bottoms of his pants was mad like they was they was they had it was like a, it was like 152 gigs, you know what I'm saying? Why he has such subsidiary space in his pants, man. It was crazy. Um you can win this battle, I don't give a damn. I only took this battle so they could follow me on Instagram. I like that for Magmire. Magmire, he also disloyed so in that joint. Clone had a bar, uh, brought enough smoke to get Yak Man 302, uh, get shot crossing the line, photo finish, Mac facing the book, the old no limit, cause Mac, the old no limit, had a rapper named Mac, he got hit with a 30 year sentence for a manslaughter, a murder, or whatever the case may be, so he was facing the book, I thought that was fire, I never heard a line like that versus him again, uh, fuck a Mac, I'd rather use my Chromebook, and then Mac Mara had a line, I spark shit, uh, I'm something you never seen like shark shit. Fire battle, but uh, I had Mac Myron winning. Uh, missed the Young Gaddis battle. Uh, missed some of the, uh, the, I missed all of the A-Ward battle. I, I'm sorry. I By the time somebody tweeted me about that, I was sleeping. I woke up. I was like, oh shit. Well, I mean, I, it is what it is. And the kids is all over the place, so I missed that trying. Um, I heard A-Ward won, according to the judges. Uh, Real Deal vs. Sharon. That shit was fire. Yo, Real Deal's third, he went crazy. Sharon went crazy all three rounds. Um, I missed some of the Young Gaddis versus uh, uh, RX joint. But uh, I did catch all of the, of the last one. The one for the bread. You know, I was out. You know, I'm not going to miss me. I ain't about to miss about that butt, about that bag, B. I'm on some real murder shit. Anybody that looks at me wrong, owes me money, or said any jealous bullshit is fucking dead. I'm not about to miss no battle about that bread. So, um, Saint versus Marv 1. Woo! This was fire. Uh, Saint comes out in his first round. He says a rhyme about Marv 1 looking like Kirby because he had the big pink sweater on, the obese joint, but it was big, so he kind of did look like Kirby. Uh, he said, call me Mushmouth. They brought me Fat Albert. They were saying that uh, Saint looked like Mushmouth, um, so they brought him Fat Albert. They say the same shit about me, so I hear it all the time. It's all good. Fuck them. You know what I'm saying? We get into that cha -ching, that money, so it don't mean that. Uh, you right like them weak-ass hats. You don't you don't be snapping, because in the back of Marv Moon's hats, he don't have no snap. I don't know why he don't got no snap. When you start snapping, he don't be snap. Shit, don't be snap. Um, we surprised the old man still got it like house phones. I like that joint. Um, he threw a punch. I had my mind on the counter like Frankenstein because, you know, Frankenstein puts his mind on the brain and the glass on the counter. I thought that was crazy. Uh, he said I never got it. 
like an address like Dave Chappelle, I thought that was fire. Um, one shot will take wonder out of the world, like I seen it all, but that was dope too. Um, Saint was punching all through his, that's what he does, he punches at a high rate. Um, he was wilding in his first. Um, Marv's first, uh, he started, he started off, uh, it wasn't the craziest start, but then he said, Quest said you gotta be perfect. Um, tonight, call me Kirk Henning. Then he said, uh, then brain farts had me fucking up 2.30s, like the round times. Then he had 3.57, the regulator, it's gonna stop all your Warren G, you know, Warren G, 3.57, gonna stop all your Warren G, I like this. Um, do this for little Saint Soul dancing over him. I heard a little Saint bar spits the Saint before, but whatever, we still going. I, oh, this was the bar of his round. Nigga. I wear 44s because of these 44s. These my hammer pants. When you start rapping like Marv, you've been rapping like that, so I can't even ask you like that. Uh, I will turn this mother out. You better pray I don't show you how this hammer dance. Yo, that whole MC Hammer scheme was fucking crazy. Yo, that, that was fucking fire. Uh, you can't hurt me. I'll make your bitch swallow everything. That's why I'm dressed like Kirby. Mid-round rebuttal? That shit was wild, son. Marv's first, he cooked towards the end. Um, now here's where, for both of these guys, uh, Saint's second round was to me just okay. He had a $50,000 first round. He had a $50,000 third round. His second round to me was not like crazy. He had some shit in there. I'm supposed to expect less from Rick Ross, dressed for less. Uh, the clip longer than one of Marv One's belts. Uh, the hungry man froze up from the tray. I, I like that line. Uh, I'll take 50 because I know you satisfied with 100 grand. He dropped the candy on the floor. Marv won second round. Uh, yo, his flow started getting crazy. Nasty as fucking mother to reach her under the bleachers of coming to see you to come in to meet you. Oh, like he was wilding. Uh, I was born in 81. I'm literally close to hell as 40. I like that. Uh, he has some lines about the ratchets. They're going to part your shit. I'm in the bushes with the Tommy that works, so it's nothing like Martin's friend. Oh, that was fire. Oh, that was fire, Marv 1. I love that line right there. Because um, when you're in the bushes with the Tommy, you know, like Martin's friend, but you got the Tommy gun in the bush. I like that, John. On God, <laughs> wherever Saint go, we marching in. Uh, he had a fire flow, though, man. I loved his flow. You're not a gangster. You're an actor. So it's different when you're dying on the set because an actor who is dying on the set dies on the set. But you're not a gangster. You're an actor. So you're dying because of your set. That is fire. Marv 1, I got you winning the second round. Let's just be clear. Third round, this is where this shit gets interesting. Because I said to myself, if Saint comes with another second round in his third, this nigga's not only losing, but he's going to fuck around and get smoked. Because his second round to me was just okay. Scale of 1 to 10, maybe a 6.5. First round was about an 8, though. Third round, nigga, 10. And he was getting gas. Yeah, he was getting gas. What you expect? The niggas is at home. You think the niggas is not going to gas for it? If I had a chance to win 50 grand, everybody that I know is going to be behind me at home. It is what it is. I'm just saying. But the nigga was fire. Even though some of y'all going to feel like he was gas, the nigga was still fire. I'm still going. Okay, my clock is still moving. So, um, Saint said, they've called you, he said, uh, he said they called you, um, Iverson. Because he kept, uh, you know, um, Marv One kept referring to the Iverson shit, the Iverson shit, the practice, the Iverson. And so Saint kind of had like, a, I don't know if it was a rebuttal, or I don't know if it was a, I don't know what it was, but he had that motherfucker in there. Maybe if Iverson went to practice, he would have been Kobe. I was like, oh shit. They told you you was Iverson, so you're going to lose in the finals. And then they in the finals, and Iverson lost in the finals. My Apple Watch keeps vibrating, get the fuck off of me. Uh, you, you keep vibrating, he said, y'all, you was going to lose in the finals. He said he gonna feel like Batman when I'm robbing the boy Wonder. Talking about robbing your boy Wonder. Quest is gonna feel like Batman when I'm robbing your boy Batman. Robbing boy Wonder always works. Um, then he got to some fire shit. Wilding out, firing the cannon like Viacom. Ooh, wilding out, firing the cannon like Viacom. I like that shit. Uh, I done stomp to GP. Are you with me? That was cool. Then he had a fire line. Urban Dictionary, you a black thesaurus. Ah, oh, salute to my man thesaurus, you know what I'm saying? He be on motherfucking Twitter, we be talking this shit, it's my god, man. But that black thesaurus line was fire. Ooh, that line was fire, motherfucker, the black thesaurus. That shit was crazy. Uh, 
that 50 fucked up your head like Ja Rule, I like that. Uh, led through the water like the Israelites. His stutter was crazy. Only combination gonna make me feel safe was in Marv's round, and Marv had a lucky... Marv is third round, right? The most important round in this battle to me. He came out, and he kind of like stumbled a little bit. And it's just way too important of a battle to have any slips, any blips, any stumbles. Like, you can't have none of that in a, in a round, in a $50,000 battle. He came out, he had a little stumbly, blippy, slippy, blippy shit, but he got it together. Uh, today ain't your lucky day. Uh, I just want my roses so I can lay them on your grave. He had a Latter-day Saint line, but as Marv was about a minute and a half to, into his round, I knew Saint was going to win the third round. So, with me knowing that Saint is going to win the third round, I thought back to Marv winning the second, and then Marv's first round. So, to me, Marv had the two biggest haymakers of his round which was the hammer pants, you know what I'm saying? The 4-4, the, the, four -four, the hammer pants line was crazy. And then he had the Kirby rebuttal line, which was super crazy. Saint had, to me, a more consistent first round, but it was the haymakers that Marv had at the end of his round, which is the reason why a lot of people felt like Marv won the first round. Now, I'm not gonna go as far as robbery because I look at it like this. These niggas got mad different judges from mad different places. And then they got niggas who's trusted. Like, ARP is trusted. Ben Swayze is trusted. Uh, Battle Rap Corner, he's new, but he calls the shit down the middle. You know what I'm saying? So I, I don't really, I've seen different calls where people have got, like, robbed. Frack got robbed, super robbed. But for me, I, I just, I, I could see, I tweeted, yo. That's why I said in my tweet. I tweeted, I said, uh, I said some shit like, uh, and this is how I called it, you know what I'm saying? I tweeted some shit like this, you know what I mean? I said, uh, I said, I said, what I said, what I said, what I said, what I said, I'll tell you what I said. I said, if you had it 1-1, one, one, Saint got the third. If you had it 2-0, oh, Saint got the third. This is interesting. So glad I turned down being a judge. This is too much for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I was offered to be a judge, and, I, and you know, I, I politely turned it down because that's too much paper for me to be calling who I felt like won a battle, who felt like didn't. You know what I'm saying? And plus, I talk too much shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't be on a league. You know what I'm saying? Any league. You know what I'm saying? I can't be, like, an endorser of the league as much shit as I talk because the event is trash. I'm going to be like, I don't give a fuck. Y'all know me. Y'all need check for me to see me disrespect niggas respectfully. So that's just what I do, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm the sultan of the shit talk. So I don't want to cross those lines. But I fuck with what King of the Dot did. They provided an opportunity for somebody to win $50,000. Saint won. And um, if Marv would have won, I would have understood why he won. A lot of people were saying Marv won, Marv won. And I get it. I feel the same way. I feel like Marv won and I feel like Saint won. You know what I'm saying? Because Saint had some fire in his third. His first was very consistent. And, you know, that's the determining round. Whoever you feel like won the first round won the battle. But overall, I tweeted before the announcement was made that somebody was going to feel robbed regardless any way the cake got cut. So, you know, uh, I was in my... I'm not going to lie. I will not lie to y'all. In my mind of minds, when the battle ended to me, I felt like Marv was going to get the win. Because the fan vote had voted for Marv. And most of the battles that came down to that close, close, close shit, it was split down the middle. And then when I heard 5-2, I was like, oh, wow. This is the first picture I actually posted this shit on Twitter. I was like, wow. I was kind of shocked. I ain't gonna lie. I was kind of shocked that uh, Saint got the win. But Saint has now moved himself from the, uh, from the bottom to the top. He's a top tier. He made fifty fucking thousand dollars. Nigga, Saint, now he's, Saint, Saint should get whoever he want. Whoever he want next, he should get... Because this man just made $50,000 in one day. Jesus Christ, congratulations to him. Uh, never got thrown off with the whole disaster shit. And, uh, you know, he's moving on. He's doing his thing. Uh, salute to King of the Dot for putting on this tournament, giving people the opportunity to win $50,000. I am glad it's over. I'm not going to lie. Because doing Battle Rap two days in a row, that shit is tiring. But other than that, you niggas already know what it is. Salute to every single one of y'all for watching this content. I'm gone. The 44... And these are my hammer pants. Damn. Marv 1 could have won that shit. Then that Kirby rebuttal? That was God levels. That Kirby rebuttal was everything. Everything. I hope Marv got some paper out of this. I ain't gonna lie. 50,000 probably wasn't gonna happen, but I hope he got a little shampoo. You know what I mean? Gone.